Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Kadomon Hyper Auto Battlers, a Pokemon-inspired auto battler roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out again here today. Played it on the channel a handful of times now, including as far back as the alpha of the game, and it's finally coming out tomorrow on Steam, and we get to take a look at it a little bit early. So in we're going to go to do just that. All right, so first we got to pick a starter. They all have different typings, as you would probably imagine, being Pokemon-inspired. Uh, a thing to keep in mind is the more Kadomon of a specific type you have, the more of a specific boost you get. For example, the more Grass-type Kadomon you have in your party, the more health regeneration you'll get. All of the fights are going to be happening automatically. It's an auto-battler. Uh, but as they attack, they will generate energy. And when they have this amount of energy... 17 energy, 23 energy, 26 energy. They will use their super move down here. So they also have a passive. So picking them, you got a couple things to keep in mind. Their base stats, their typing, their passive effects, and their super. So I'm just going to grab belief. I'm a left to right gamer, so let's go for that here. Uh, now we have to kind of pick our way up through this map. And... More or less how I'm going to do that is, since we have a grass type, I'm going to go to the zone that has grass types because it's not just who you are fighting, it's also who you can recruit to your team. And since all I know is that I have belief, let's go for this right here, since there is theoretically grass types here. Uh, we got ourselves a bug. When an enemy gets moved, grant allies behind one strength. And his ultimate is move a front enemy backwards. Okay. I mean, that seems quite logical. Our passive is on battle start trigger the ally ahead super. So we would immediately move somebody and then everybody behind would gain an attack. That seems already like a pretty logical combo. On top of it being a bug type. So, yeah, like I was saying, they're going to be... I pause there. They're going to be attacking back and forth. And when they attack, they fill up this little meter on the bottom, the yellow meter. When that meter hits full, you know they're going to ult. And the gray meter is basically their, like, attack speed. Okay, so he swapped us. So it's the first fight. It's nothing to really worry about. We're going to get some money. Recruit a Kadomon. We know that it has to be the Grubber. We also got to pick a held item. Trigger the ally in front super one time. On attack, deal three damage to a random enemy. I think let's go with this, the bells. So we can trigger that person super multiple times. Turn all grass types into fire types? What's fires do? Battle start grant all allies attack. That sounds really fun, actually. All dusk into physical and physical into dusk. Turn all lightning types into toxic types. I mean, we'll do that. So you are now a fire bug. Kittle. <laughs> when another one is sold, gain a speed for the next battle, I think that is. So this is going to be our shop after each fight. We get a little bit of money. We can come here. We can maybe buy some items. We can maybe buy some Kadomon. Some items can combine together to make new ones. All right. Well, let's put our bells on. So at the start of combat, Belief is going to trigger your super twice, which means we move the front enemy back one, and then we do it again, which is a little bit funny, but it's literally just so we can get our, um, our passive upgrade there twice. So enemy moved, grant allies behind one attack. That should happen two times. So we'll, uh, we'll check, we'll check that. So boop. Whoop. Yep, so they all they all got to Oh dang. Let's do a little bit of speed up. The bug effect is when a non-token ally faints, summon a level one fly. Okay. The bummer here is neither of these are that useful for us in specific. Before an attack, grant the ally head to energy. And the ult is grant adjacent allies one splash, which is an AoE attack. I'll say sure to you then. We'll probably swap you out at some point here. But you're going to be giving them energy. Which, what does your ult do? Fortitude block the next damage they take and grant them regeneration. 
Yeah, I think that's good enough. We'll, we'll probably, like I said, sub them out, but... Battle start, grant the other allies three strength. Sure. That's... You're, you're a buff bot. There we go. We are going to just have so much attack damage at the very start of the fight. What the hell? As the last battle ended, your celebrations were cut short by an earth-shattering rumble. You and three members of your party looked at each other cautiously and agreed to track down the source. After days of exploration, you come across a stone chamber containing a glowing ancient uh, tablet adorned in runes. The party's nervous, as if they know what the symbols mean. Okay. Perhaps these can be pushed. I don't know, man. There's a bright flash. You find yourself back outside the tap with the tablet gone. You're unsure if you need to find it again, push more or not. What? What are you talking about? Bulbish? After battle, spawn a bulb baby or grant one 10 experience. So you're clearly normally a, uh, a grass type. No way in hell you're normally a, f a fire type. Take five damage, gain a fortitude and a regen. Interesting. All right, so immediate start of fight, our damage gets upgraded like crazy on these backline guys. All right, minus fortitude. So we get ourselves a fly. So the flies have 10 HP, gotcha. I'm gonna go ahead and grab you just for that fire bonus, which is grant all, all allies strength up. If we get that balloon as well, that does seem good. Okay. Other sold. I don't know if I want to go with that. Battle start gain 5 max HP. So the weird thing is, you have low HP, but you kind of want to be in front. That feels awkward for me. After battle, spawn a bold baby. Or grant one 10 experience. Take 5 damage, gain a block and a regen. Can I, I can sell you for experience, right? Yes. Huh. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go to grassland. Where we will find zero grass. On non-token ally faint, summon a level 1 spark blug. And all summons do 2 damage to the highest health enemy. Hmm? We could, uh, we could say screw the fire one and go for this, which is on ally attack, grant all allies energy, and try and go for, like, a really fast attack speed. That's interesting. That's interesting. Hmm. Could also grab the zip strap, but I don't think I want to keep, I don't think I want to keep you for long. I don't know. We do have a bunch of... Got a bunch of damage. How this guy's alive is a little bit beyond me. So we can pick you and you gain experience that way. I do want to go with this. Get the anti-gravity ball as well. Huh. Gain one bomb. On faint deal one damage per stack to enemies and split evenly. When gain experience grant three random allies regen for the battle. Or we could theoretically release you for experience every time. 
Interesting. Because, like, you do need to obviously be in the party to get that. But otherwise, we'd go for this and get the energy. We have the triple bug. Summon two flies? I don't know. It's something. It's definitely something. All summons do two damage to the highest health enemy. Eh, I don't know, man. It's a tough call already. Because the fire is interesting. Grass turning into fire is a little bit dangerous for us because I'd imagine... Is there like a type chart? How many other? Wow, okay. All right. Okay, then. This is better long term. Wait, maybe we do this, though. We're not going to have very many summons. Yeah, we will. We have the three bugs. Sure. That's fine. That's the order I'd like to go with. I think I'll keep you for now. Because I might, I might end up swapping back. Bug and fire. Bug, bug. And the last one didn't even have any anyways. A magic orb appears in front of you. It begins to glow, seemingly emitting a strange energy. Gain a random field effect, which is just like a passive. Ally becomes a random typing. Gain a random item. Sure. What do you got? You feel a strange energy begin to follow you. Do I get... What is my... What is it? Do I get a check? Battles until you select a field effect. Gotcha. Oh, it's up here. After a super grant an ally to maximum health. Oh, that's really good. Before battle, copy the Katamon two spaces ahead's passive. Interesting. On hurt, gain an attack. Ooh, the ult is due 50% of your attack to all enemies. I mean, that's pretty good. Ally head hurt, grant them one max health, and I take two damage. And then trigger the... Mm, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. There's a lot of interesting stuff here. I think Bulbo's interesting, too. Copy the Katamon, two spaces ahead's passive. I mean, we'd do what? Yours? No, we would do yours? I mean, I don't know yet. It's a little weird. We could even grab you, but I don't think so. I'll probably go for peeling at this point. I mean, I think that we made so many things into fire types, and then we have this guy that's weak to fire types in our front, but hey, what are you gonna do? More summons? Seems good. On equip, grant an ally five max health consume. The other one was the attack. Could also skip. I mean, the peeling seems good. If we want to go for fire. Like, we would get rid of Bulbish, I guess? Can I, like... Yeah, I can. Okay. Interesting, interesting. S all summons do two damage. Non-token ally faints summon a level one... Spark blood. I mean, that would be yeah okay. I mean yeah, I don't know. I think it's I think it's totally acceptable. But I don't know what really works here. I mean peeling it's not gonna really make a whole lot of sense. Copper, copy. I mean let's get the let's just get this. And I'm kind of liking kind of liking using you just to focus fire on one specific guy. That might be completely wrong, to be clear. On battle, start, gain 5 max HP, and then consume. 
ally feints do too slow to the front enemy. Wait, that's actually kind of good. When enemy moves, ally faint gain 100% of the attack as armor. I think that the... Um, this seems really good with you. We get this balloon. When hurts, apply slow to the fastest enemy. I think I'm good to I think I'm good to go with you. I want to get the evolution here. Get one coin for that? Okay. Up I go. Orbital. Anything I want here? Rockworm. I yeah, I could definitely I could go for a fourth bug. When hurt, gain 50% of thorns as armor. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You are definitely a better tank. After battle, grant three random allies one health. Huh. It's just like a permanent thing? I mean, that's, that's obviously quite good. Attacks require one bonus speed to remove a stack on attack. Wait, what? What? That's showing the status effect for the slow, the slow status effect. That's confusing. What's up with that? So you getting all kinds of thorns then, or what? Get bodied. could just upgrade the charge bug on her to apply poison to random. We could have full bugs. You know what? Screw it. I'll give you the big upgrade. Did you evolve? You sure did. In the background? Uh, summon a level 2 spark bug. All summons do 4 damage to the highest enemy. We don't have very many summons right now is the thing. I, I would like to find more. I'm, I don't care. I'm using you to just keep on gaining experience. Grubber up! Beat him up! On enemy move, uh, grant allies back two. Front enemy back mo moves back two. I mean, yeah. Mini boss. Oh, but there's, there's bugs here. Battle a special unit and receive a token. When enemy moved, move the lowest health enemy to the back. Frail, take one bonus. Okay, so you move, you basically, you're tank, you're tank breakers. Oh my. Okay. Uh, we'll see what we got here. So you'll theoretically move me, but you got so much health. Oh my lord. Ain't happening, Captain. This guy's 110 health. There's no way, man. Right? Unless... Unless, unless there's a way. Select a field effect. Front ally takes two less damage. When moved, when moved, grant ally shield. Well, like when I when I move somebody, grant an ally two shield. Rock Solid just seems really good. Across the board. Like, just in general. Just in case that works the nice way. What does a shop ticket do? Let's you re-roll the shop. Okay, I was I was kind of wondering. 
I think I'm good here, so yeah, let's, let's give it a restock. Could upgrade charge the charge bug. What else do we have here? I'm curious. I'm curious if that is legitimately if consume if it's a permanent five max HP. I'd assume probably not, because it seems too good. That works better. At least until we figure out what's going on here. Banan banana. Battle start gain a coin. Oh, the bells. All right. Yeah, give it a go. This guy's still here. I mean, we do want to sub him out at some point. The banana is an interesting call for sure. I think we have a pretty incredible squad, truthfully. Or at least on some of these. I could get you just for your item. Because we could always just sell them. Get your item. Okay, so it, it is genuinely just a, a once thing. I don't I don't care about the regen. I'm going greed. I'm going full greed. On attack, deal three damage to a random enemy. Who attacks the fastest? Lower is faster, so you attack the fastest, but you're also gonna die the fastest. Edit and upgrade your team. Hit me with it. Unit gains Earth type if possible. After ally super, grant the front ally. Yeah, okay. All right, maybe, maybe we'll keep, maybe we will keep the Earth type. Or unit gains thirty experience. I don't really want it to be the one in the front. Because more types means more weaknesses. Alright. Queen Struction. On hurt, collect scrap. Build a crony with health equal to scrap. Uh-oh. So basically what we would want would be like lots of... Or, or like just large hits. We wouldn't really want to uh, do a lot of tiny hits, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it's, gonna, it's gonna take a bit there. I think we're good. Yeah, whenever anyone supers after ally super, grant the front ally thorns on hit, do one damage to the attacker and remove a stack. Okay, so Thorns, it's like a who cares how much you have moment, or what? You just took 25. Attack me. Attack me, I dare you. Attack me, I dare you. you took 29. No, okay, it's one damage per stack, and then, yeah, okay. A little unclear, but hey. I, that's what I assumed at first until I read it. Stagnant. Trigger two allies ahead super once. Okay. Battle start grants allies three shield. And dusk tights into physical types. I get all allies gain shield. There's nothing wrong with that. Two damage to all allies three times. Surely there's... Yeah, there's some good ones for that, but... I'm actually going to go for the experience. This is 
silly, I know, but I don't care. So did we get a new z Okay, new stuff in new zone? No, not quite. Basically just looking for potions. Unequip grant ally... Grant ally to attack. Wait, what? Grant them to attack or what? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's another situation where they almost talked me out of understanding it. I don't want your ult. Okay, so we're, we're going to have to um, grant trigger two allies ahead supers one time. Okay. Okay, there's another belief here. We do something with that. Slamala. Lowest max health enemy must attack this unit. Deal five damage to the lowest max health enemy and then move them forwards. Ooh. That's a little interesting. Um, but I do like the earth that we have. You could go for Manku. I don't know. There's an argument for multiple things here, but... So there's, what? There's three zones, it looks like? Looks like it. Guaranteed boss, mini boss thing, which... I don't know, man. Seemed a little bit spooky. Just trying to see which path looks the best. This gives us a lot of um, a lot of potential. Ally regen triggered. Gain one health. When hurt, apply five poison to random enemy. Strength applied. What's so? What's strength? Strength is specifically that. Gotcha. All right. Lucha lore. The lucha lore is interesting. I can't deny it. Okay. Just honestly, just go for the parade. Go for it. Get out of here. We'll be here all day otherwise if we don't uh, go at least on the middle speed mode. Yes, I feel like... Slamala is very interesting. Rockworm. I feel like, you know what? We should probably do Rockworm. I think it just makes the most sense. We do it like this. And it's just going to be okay if you guys don't get the uh, attack. I think that's just going to be fine. So Because we, we still get the Earth, but we also we have four bug that way, which is when a non-token ally faints... Yeah, I think that's the play. Because we also get all the thorns and everything, then. Takes less damage, gets a little bit of armor right away. After super grants an ally to max HP. I think it's just worth it. I don't know. Ah, probably should do the one in the front, huh? Next. Grant. After battle, grant four. Ah, oh, gosh. It's tempting. On hurt, gain 50% of thorns as shield. So we have that thorns angle. Oh, boy. Okay. You have 10 thorns already before we've even done anything. Everyone's just going to evaporate. Yeah, that was the that was the right call. And then if anyone dies, we get a million summons, huh? Seems to be the case. Let's go ahead and um... They're already so low, but I'm like My head's going to explode. 
I wouldn't mind that thorns one. But... The bell is great. Hey, do their super again? Eh. Eh. Oh, well. Oh, well. On ally attack, gain one fast. On attack, do one damage to the ally behind. It's interesting with the Wormant as like a sacrifice play. When Frail applied, gain a fast. I don't think I care about any of that. Wait, what's... What's going on with that? Why, why is there... When I defeat one, we have to fight another guy? Is that what's going on? Yeah. I mean, bad news for them. They're getting absolutely wrecked. This, this looks like it would be a thorn thing, huh? I feel like, um, since we don't know exactly how many uh, of the rerolls we're going to get, if we just have an upgrade for somebody, we just go for it. Unit gains bug type if possible. We have all bugs already. So I will go for the experience. And I think that the frontline guy getting more is uh, probably the best call. Screw it. Screw it. When hurt, gain force strength. That's scary. It's definitely scary. Oh well. But I feel like... Did I get one shot? No. We have a bunch of summons back over here. See, that's kind of like the cue where things are going to go. Clearly. Instantly gain 40 morale. Ally faints. Allies heal too. Seems, seems relevant. On ally summon, gain 5 energy. That seems relevant too. The question is who? God, I wish I could give you the regen. I mean, ally fate with you being in the front is a little bit awkward. I actually kind of like that. Because we might be able to just keep on... Um... Mm. There we go. I think we're, we're, we're good to go on this. Thank you. It was nice. Uh, Cause then we can keep on giving them tank powers, summoning a bunch of tiny little fools and giving them tank powers. I don't really want the air type right now. Like it could be interesting, but. Oh baby. It's gonna be max level already. Let's go legend. Oh god. Warm wormonger. <laughs> it's the same guy. Okay, I mean I'm down with it. We beat him once. Is he just the same exact thing or what? I mean we should just be way better, because we just have this guy with a crazy amount of uh, thorns. Oh these poor saps. Did he snipe my backline? I think he might have. Get five bucks. After a super, do one damage to one damage to all units. Uh I think that's good. I think that's I think that's good because of our frontline guy. That'll start gain five thorns. 
That's ob that has obvious use with the front line. But this is this is a permanent stat upgrade, which it's kind of hard to ignore. And you're gonna be you're gonna live the most on average, not always. But the thorn thing is it's hard to ignore. I'm sure like sure it's good, but oh, this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> Root Barb. We should be good to go, though, right? Yeah. I mean, look at that. We get the 28. I mean, we take a lot of damage ourselves, which is a little bit scary, but look at 70, 90, we have 100 armor. Oh. My god. Chimpire. Hit me with a restock. Well shielded. Oh god, wait, that's the one. Well shielded when you have shield reduced damage taken by 25%. That's the one. The thorn corn is obviously not bad. Potential for two elites here. Farmok on attack, trigger other allies' attacks. I don't know that that's going to be good for you, my friend. So yeah, we start out the fight, we get like a billion... Ooh. Shield. Okay. Alright, maybe you do... Maybe you, maybe you do a lot. He's summoning... Okay, he's summoning about a thousand guys. He summoned a thousand men and lived at six HP. What the hell? What the hell? Huh? Okay, maybe I don't want to fight another one because... How do you... St that should have been something we would have been really strong against just a, a large wave of small enemies should have been a joke to us and the fact that we got overwhelmed anyways is really weird that's really weird i mean the the rainfall obviously screwed us over a bit there uh in that specific fight when hurt apply slow to the fastest enemy ally ahead hurt grant them two max hp and i take three damage uh the whole, uh, we're, we're gonna need to take more advantage of rainfall than just our frontline guy if we want to really have success here. Because it's kind of screwing over our summon build angle. It's weird the difference between elite and regular fights. You know what I'm saying? That is. The difference is crazy. Huh. Yeah, I don't wanna don't wanna do that yet. Unit gains toxic if possible. No thanks. You're exactly 30 away, that feels really relevant. I don't think we do it on that though. But I don't really care about your super getting upgraded, so I guess sure. What do we got going on? Filament. Imperial. Final fight of the region. Lose all of your flags if you your morale if you lose. Enemy gain status. Gain one of that status. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's a hard counter. So we're gonna get a million thorns and then he's gonna get a million thorns. Uh. 
Why are they all getting so much strength? Uh-oh. I mean, maybe we're... F I was gonna say maybe we're fine. We're absolutely not fine. He just got so much thorns. He's got a wormant. Or maybe we're maybe we're gonna be okay since he has no more summons. Use a random enemy's super two times. Why are you getting all of my summons? Or why are you why are you getting my guys? What's going on there? We're dying to the thorns. And we're dead, obviously. Did they steal my... I'm confused. There we go. We, we did a... I mean, we did a whole bunch of stuff there. All right. Alas, alas. That is that. That's going to do it here for today. It's one of those ones where there's so much going on in terms of that. It's like, it's hard to... I mean, I know we had the speed up mode, but even without the speed up mode, it's hard to be like, okay, yeah, obviously I need to change this thing because it's so much uh, so much scattershot at the wall with that. It's, it can't help feel, but, you know, we were doing great. We were completely overpowered and unkillable, and then all of a sudden we hit a complete wall. It, it's hard to, feel, hard to feel like I, sh I know what to do uh, to, to change it in the future, but... Uh, I'm sure we could have done better, but just the fact that that guy, I don't know why he kept on, like, it, it didn't say anything on his card that he gets my summons, or gets my characters. It said he uses their abilities, but he just kept on getting so much thorns to the point where we, we were screwed. We were absolutely screwed by just taking a thorns character into that fight. Whenever we gained thorns, he gained the thorns as well. It just obviously was going to be it was going to be a loss, and there's not much I could do about it, which is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today, though. If you want more Kadomon, do let me know in the forum comment down below. Like I said, it will be out tomorrow for you to finally pick it up. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.